As we saw last night, evacuation orders can be given in an instant, and then you can eliminate at least some of the chaos of the situation by planning ahead. Karen Lair joins us with much more. Michelle, if you get that knock on your door late at night and you're told you have just minutes to get out of your house, you're going to want to plan what important things you want to take with you, and some of that planning can be done right now. As dry as everything is right now, and with the winds and that, the fire growth is just tremendous. It happens fast, and that's why, you know, your, your evacuation time, they may just say, you know what, you need to get your stuff and get out now. Deputy Chief of NAMPA Fire Doug Strohsneider says it's important for every family to have a fire evacuation plan, especially those who live in the foothills or near bare grounds. Instead of waiting for that knock on your door, prepare things now. I mean, you might live in an area where you're prone to wildfire. Well, then you should be thinking in June, okay, you know what, I need to get these items together and keep them in this area so that if I have to go, I can have them all right there. First, choose a meeting place in case family members are separated at the time of evacuation. Then make a list of important things you wouldn't want ruined. Items like marriage certificates, birth certificates, social security cards, computer hard drives, and important family photos or keepsakes. Have these important documents ready to take with you. Don't leave them behind in a safe, even if it claims to be fireproof. Most of those little boxes, you have to understand, they are not going to withstand a fire. If that's left in your house and a fire burns through, and if, if, especially if the fire's not being suppressed. Pack a bag with 72 hours worth of goods for each family member. Keep in mind medications, clothing, and necessary toiletries. The more prepared you are, if you know, that, that knock happens or that goes off, get your family and get out, you know. They can rebuild your house, they can take care of that stuff. But, you know, your family, your pets and that, that's, that's gotta be your number one priority. Get those to a safe place. If you do live in areas prone to fires, Strohsnyder recommends sleeping with a radio on so you can hear weather alerts affecting your area as soon as possible. Live in studio, I'm Karen Lair, Fox 9 on your side.